Welcome to another awesome episode of Paranormal Theories Exposed, a show that explores different theories used in paranormal research and asks the question, what the heck is really going on here? Today's topic will be thermal imagers. The amount of predator references in this episode is going to be ridiculous. Now, before we start, we're going to be talking a lot about infrared radiation in this episode. If you missed our first episode on the electromagnetic spectrum, you may want to watch that first. I'm going to put up a little uh, tabby tab up here, I think. Click on that, check it out so you can have a better understanding of what we're about to talk about. All right. So this infrared radiation is what's being captured by our thermal imaging cameras. Any object, person, or animal above zero degrees Kelvin, which is also known as absolute zero, which is ridiculously cold. At absolute zero, no heat energy remains in the substance, and only quantum particle motion occurs, which is insane, and we're definitely not getting into that here. So basically everything emits some measurable amount of infrared energy. What some smart people did is they created algorithms that could not only read the surface temperature of an object, but also generate an image based on those readings. These cameras generate their image with no assistance of visible light, Basically, these cameras, as we all know, could see in the dark, and they could see through things like smoke. Being able to see in the dark is obviously why the Predator sees infrared in that dope mask. The thermal imager has become a popular tool used in most popular paranormal investigative television shows. With these tools, just being used on a television show usually skyrockets their popularity. If this is the case, then why aren't people running around all over the place with these things? You are correct, it's because of the dollar bill. These cameras can run you thousands of dollars. Before you run out and sell a kidney, let me give you some info on what this thing can and cannot do. Now things are gonna go into science mode right now, so stick with us. Yeah. Stick around. That is the best. So when purchasing a thermal imager, many people think they are getting their hands on a heat viewer but it's not quite as simple as that. Instead, let's look at this device like it's a camera. However, rather than recording visible light, the thermal imager displays mid and far infrared radiation. Most surfaces with a direct line of sight will display a temperature reading on the device. Now, let's pause here and take a look at my previous sentence. The key word here is surfaces. Thermal imagers are only able to pick up temperature from a surface. They cannot detect the temperature of the air. Think about it. If the device was able to pick up temperature in the air, the image would be impossible to make out. It would just be a mess of color. This not only ruins the hilarious hope to capture a friend's fart on camera, this also throws a monkey wrench in the idea that you can capture a cold or hot spot in the air around you. From what we understand, this is pretty much impossible because there's not enough mass to emit IR radiation. Now, this doesn't mean ghosts can't appear in thermal imagers. There's just not enough evidence to prove otherwise. Besides the fact, we don't know what ghosts are made of. They could be made of something ridiculous we can't even understand right now. So, to say it's impossible, I guess not. But based on what we do know, you know, that's just the facts, folks. So back to surfaces, when you touch something, the heat will travel through the item. This is why if you lie down or you're sitting on a chair, you can leave an imprint in the seat you were sitting in. So if you capture a handprint, for example, appear on a wall out of nowhere, you might have got something there because you are measuring the surface and it's totally able to do that. And it would be really scary if that happened. So each surface is different just to make things more complicated. Not all surfaces show their true temperature. Things such as metals, glass, polished ceramics, and some stone appear dark. It is also important to note that thermal imagers cannot look through glass. They could simply see the thermal energy on the surface of the glass. Any temperatures or even images on these surfaces, in fact, are reflections from another source. Imagine taking a picture of a mirror, and you could kind of understand. So if heat is being aimed at one of these surfaces, some of them are so reflective that it'll bounce off and it could heat other objects around it. So wowee, that is a lot to swallow. 
Like most paranormal tech, the thermal imager is a complicated machine that definitely has its limitations. We know this device is cool, but we hope we gave you the information so that you could really think about if you want to buy something just because this thing is really expensive. If you really love this piece of equipment, we encourage you to come up with your own experiments or ideas on how to use this tool in paranormal research. Like any field of research, it's trial and error and trying new theories that are going to help move us forward. So try these things out, go out there, and test them. You guys are the best. Thank you all for listening, and until next time, peace.